Hello everyone, I'm Chester44 and welcome to this let's play of Baldur's Gate 2 Shadows of Amun. Last episode, we made it off the island held by the, uh, the cloaked mages, only to end up here, only to end up attacked by, uh, Githyanki, who wanted a silver sword that was given to us by the pirate ca by the, uh, pirate captain in an effort to, uh, save his own skin, and, uh, in addition, at, during the attack, we were attacked again by Sahuagin, who proceeded to capture us and take them back to their city because they believe that we happen to be the Chosen Ones, which is the only reason we're not being eaten right now. Apparently, we need to take care of some rebels. The king wants their heart, and the king is also a little, uh, touched in the head, possibly. For now, we have the run of the city. We have to go to the temple eventually in order to find out what we can, must but... Have his exercise. Let's divide us all in hard to reach places. Noted. Let's uh let's speak with people here. Like the king. Consider it done. <laughs> you are wondrously strange. <laughs> oh, my favorite surfer human wishes to speak to me once again. Do you have the heart of that rebel? I would so enjoy eating it now. No, I do not have it yet, but I intend to get it. Well, what are you waiting for? The rebel awaits. I would like to be there when he sees your hairy hides, but a king can't have everything. <sighs> Stand away from me, surface creature. Your scaleless features fill me with more than a little revulsion. Do as the most Ixil the Tokalk has commanded you, and I shall be content. All right, all right. Okay, that's locked. Uh, can you yep. unlock it? Gotcha. Yes. Only open for a specific I key. Will do my best. No amount of tinkering will help. Okay, that's where I fought uh, a creature that allowed me to move free. Captain Fear Latius. Okay, that's the captain. The most sacred Senate Yili would wish to speak with you as soon as you can, surface creature. I ask that you. An offering for you, Sakola. Open your mighty jaws and take this, your former servant, as sustenance for you. We are mighty shark father. We strike without fear and without remorse. Take this gift as a measure of our power. No! You continue to be an oddity here. Ah, it is good you have come to see me before you left. The king has made it clear I should instruct you as to how you may enter the prince's base. The prince's base lies at the far end of the city, beyond the chamber with two great doors. Long ago, Sekola appeared there and slew a thousand infidels. He decreed no heretic should again enter the city and sealed the doors. He placed his tooth upon the doors so that we could open them. Later, the draw came. With powerful magics, they stormed the city, led by a mage of great strength. He took Sekola's tooth from our lax guardians with the intent of blocking pursuit. The mage built an edifice in the southwest section of the city. He was killed, but his complex remains. Sekola's tooth is guarded somewhere within. We have little need for it. The ocean is the means of our travel. But you need it. Seek out the Drow's construct, foil his guardians, and obtain the key. I shall enter the draw section and obtain the key. Excellent! This brings me to the next point. You must do something for me. Our king is mad. Surely your audience with him showed you this. Yeah, as I said, he seems a little bit... He is the result of... Uh, poor breeding. Like his father, he has executed or exiled far too many of our kind. Our numbers are too few, our blood too thin. We must regain what we have lost. Prince Villinati, the exile's leader outside the city, is our only hope. So they've been exiling all the strong Sahuagin outside of the city. Eventually, everyone left inside will be weak. I don't see what we have to do with it, though. With the prince on the throne, we would be strong again! To fight the Illithids and the Draw. I have been in contact with the rebels, and now is the time to strike. What do you say, human? Surely you hold no love for our mad king. Help us survive, lest we be swept away by the denizens of the Underdark. What do you need me to do, exactly? 
I only ask that you talk with Prince Villinati, that is all. Listen to what he has to offer and decide then what you shall do. I will give you an orb the rebels will recognize. They will bring you to Villinati. That is, of course, if you agree to talk instead of kill. What makes you think I won't tell the prince, of the king of your scheme? You are not of our race. You owe him no allegiance. You have seen Ixothetokal's state of mind. He may decide to kill you in the end anyway. But if you do take this to the king, I cannot stop you, human. It will doom both myself and perhaps the city of caverns as well. But I cannot stop you. The king's offered me a reward to kill this rebel. What are you offering me? I can offer you nothing myself, and I know that the exiles have little in the way of gold or magic that you might see as a suitable reward. Still, I ask that you speak to the prince. Perhaps... Perhaps he has some reward in mind. I... I beg you, human, do not let our mad king destroy my people. Very well, I shall do as you ask. Good. Here is the orb. Keep it in your possession when you leave the city of caverns. You will be approached by an exile to be brought to the prince. I pray that you and the prince can come to an agreement for the sake of all of my people. Go then, and may Sekola guard you from harm. Okay then. High Priest of Senate Yili informed me that the only way to get through the doors of the rebel encampment was to find a key, the key. Sekola's tooth, which was stolen by a dro and hidden long ago in an area directly to the south. All right. This orb was given to you by the Sahuagin Royal High Priestess. You can gain an audience with the Rebel Prince if you take the orb to their encampment, which I intend to. I'll just put it in there for storage. All right. Priestess of Sekola, can I speak with you? The Shark Father watches. Do you require the services of this temple? Yes, what do you have? So, you're one we can sell things to, and you do have a variety of things. Quite a few scrolls. A lot of scrolls. Is there anything that I want to learn? I don't think there really is. I mean, I guess you can learn horror. Uh, shield? Oh no, you already know shield. Burning hands is a basic spell. It's not bad to have. And you might want to learn protection from petrification so that you have it. Um... I guess learning hold person might not be bad. Slow is potentially useful. Ice storm, I suppose. Wraith form. Can I cast spells? No, thank you. I guess having a cloud kill would be fine. Hold monster. You have breach. Okay, I guess that'll do. Alright, learn the spells. Alright, at any time we can redo these spells a bit. Get you some more things. Uh, I don't know if there's other... You have Ray of Enfeeblement. I mean, Web is not a spell to have. Replace that with Horror. You're fine with these, I guess. Level 4 spells? You got two improved invisibilities. Remove one, take Ice Storm. Level 5, you got plenty of spells. Do you need Chaos? Eh, yeah, maybe. Ahem! 
Chain lighting, tensor transformation. Okay, I think we're good. Alright. Well, um, let's take a look around this place. This is a disturbingly lifelike statue of some hideous denizen of the deep. The smell of old blood and death permeate the area. Well, I have no idea what this li is like. The shell rises from the depths of the pool. You are unsure what is supporting it. Oh shit, rebels! Well, they die easily. So I mean, there's that. And they seem to drop a lot of bolts. Paralytic bolts, bolts of biting. So I guess the rebels are up in this area. On the plus side, they do die easily. Oh, more rebels. And rebels, and regular South Walk as well, who aren't rebels. And one more. You know, if we're the chosen one, why are the regular South Walken coming after us? This is a massive gaping maw that rises from the water to form an altar. This appears to have been a temple to the Sahuagan god Sekola. It has been deserted recently, most likely due to the rebel invasion. Possibly. Alright, so this area over here is entirely taken over by rebels. At least they die easily. So that's a plus. More rebels. Okay. That might head down to uh, where the rebels are held. More rebels. Feel the backhand of justice. I mean, I want to do this peacefully. It's just I can't really. Not with everyone fighting me. Dead. Not really a useful one. At least we're getting plenty of gems and rings to sell. You can't be serious. There are so many rebels out here. Oh shit! You shall not escape this place, mortals. Prepare to join us. Greater Lacedon Sea Zombies. These are a little more concerning. You know, can you kill this? Quickly now. You're about to die. Run back. How about you heal yourself? 
Aerie, you also give a healing to him. I think one of us just leveled up. I lost my spell. Take that. Okay. Uh everyone get out of there for a second. A putrid wave of air rushes over you as you gaze about this hellish room. Rotting corpses of all shapes and sizes lie submerged in the bloody stagnant water. I'm the one who leveled up. Ooh, nice. Alright, an additional weapon proficiency, three hit points, lore, Thacko. Let's see. We got sword and shield style. Long sword is at max. Longbow has had some practice. Um, maybe I should have some kind of blunt weapon. A mace? I think a mace. Yeah, we'll go with a mace. That way I'll have a mace that I can use, if I can find a good one. Let's wait for that cloud to vanish. Nature's servant awaits. What is it now? On my honor. Once that cloud vanishes, we'll take a look at whatever the hell was down in here. May have been a cloud kill, or maybe just a stinky cloud, I don't know. We got plenty of, uh, things here, though. What is that? Summon Jin? Summon Jin. And we don't really need the antidote, I don't think. We can leave that be. Pardon me. Ah, good, the cloud's gone. Is there anything else down here? Or is it just a large pool of blood that happened to have some uh, undead in it? No, no, that's, that's really all it was. A massive pool of blood. Ugh. Alright, let's keep looking through here. Maybe we'll find a place we can rest, or are we just going to have to rest here? Oh, more rebels. Finding Sawagan and Undead. Great! I heard you have to And the last Sakwagan. We're trying to save your city and you're fighting us. Really not the wisest way to do this, you know. Okay, that's the altar. Okay, let's take a look down this way. That actually just leads to a dead end. Okay. That's a broken path. I'm gonna need to repair that sooner or later, I imagine. Okay, keep looking around. If you plan on passing this poor surface human, you should be warned that it is not truly part of the city of caverns. Beyond here lies an old place home to the blackened elves, with traps enough to send any to the belly of the Shark Father. Enter at your own risk. We were warned of it, and we do need to go there. Okay, so that's the way. That's a dead end. Well, we can find our way towards the, towards the, uh, the Tower of the Elves. Sorry, the throw. Uh, 
And... Oh, jeez! Sword, spider, and enter cap. I won't let my friends be hurt! What spell is that? Shocking Grasp. Okay, get those identified. Bolt of Biting, Paralytic Bolt. Oh yeah, it's... It's suddenly a massive change in architecture here. Yes. Done. A bone golem? Oh boy. Gotcha good. And yet we're still able to kill it. Ow. I got hurt. Let me do a save before we step closer. Alright, a little closer, just in case there's more horrors. And there's an imp here. Oh, someone has come to play at last. Yes, 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 someone will play with us now. And not that stodgy overgrown fish king. Yeah, that old fish king. Phew, no sense of humor. None. But now, hee <laughs> hee, you big peoples will want the treasure, right? Big peoples always want the drow's treasures, yes. You can have the drow treasure, oh yes. But you have to play our game first. Hee <laughs> hee, you have to play our game. What say you big people? You wanting the treasure? You wants to play our game, yes? Why would I want to play this game of yours? Hehe, <laughs> well, you could go and look in all the chests if you wanted to. Yes, yes, you could. Hehe, <laughs> most of them are empty now, anyway. Most of them. All except the one. One of them is locked up tight and has all of the Dro's treasure. All of it. And something else, too. It is a nasty, nasty, nasty inside it that will come out and steal your soul. You'll be forever dead, dead! Hee <laughs> hee! We can unlock the chest and protect you from the nasty, nasty, nasty. But only if you plays our game. Only if you plays, yes. So what says you big peoples? Will you play our game? Very well. I'll play your game if that's what it takes. The big peoples will play our game! Hooray! 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 Okay, big peoples, this is how our game will go. There is five chests here with nothings in them. In front of them... In front of each empty chest, a famous big people will appear. Famous big people. Oh, yes. Powerful famous big people. Each famous big people will give you a gift that belongs to another famous big people. And they will hint to you what gifts belong to them. If you think you know which famous big people a gift belongs to, you put it in the empty chest behind them, yes? Very simple. Once you place us all five, you comes and asks us. If you wrong, we laugh at you. If you write, we open the sixth chest, and you can laugh and at the nasty, nasty, nasty. Lots of fun. Okay, we start now. So we have Elminster, Kelvin, Arustiel. Oh Jesus! What do you want? Good to go. Okay. Disarm all the traps, please. So we have Elminster, Kelvin, Alustriel, Pierre Giron, and Driz. Spectator? Oh god. Uh. There's a beholder! What is my time? As you ask. On my honor. Hey, Frederick? Put on the shield. And. See if you can get an idea of what this guy's here for. Visitors! It has been some time since I have had anyone but the mad little Sawagan come to this place. And that one is not full of riveting conversation. Ah, but I see you hesitate. No doubt you have heard of my kind before, or even met some. You call us beholders. Yes, I think that is the term you use. I am but a spectator beholder, however, and not quite like the others you may have met. I am set in this place to guard one thing and one thing only. I will not attack you, unless you try to touch what I guard. 
touch anything else you'd like, provided you weren't driven insane by the imps back there. What is it exactly that you guard? Just the one chest behind me. You are welcome to open the others with the imps, or do whatever else. I'm not here to do anything about them in the slightest. Oh god. I think the Sahuagin looted the other chests long ago. They might have put some stuff of theirs around here, though, thinking I would scare off thieves. Oh, that reminds me. I promised that mad little Sahuagin that I would make an effort to scare off intruders. So... BOO! And that's about as much effort as I'm willing to put into that. It's been pretty... It's been a pretty lonely experience so far, you know. Honestly, I was more put off by that dragon. But you're more entertaining, so thank you. Do you know what's in that chest you're guarding? Not a clue. I wouldn't recommend touching it, though. I haven't had any real excitement in a long, long time. But I've no compulsion towards killing, you know. Is there no way I can release you from your task? Ah, oh, that's sweet. Short of death, there isn't any way to shorten the forty years I have left. And I'm not eager to see to greet the great the beyond just yet. Are you sure I can't see what's in the chest? What? Are you in desperate need of s or something? You have a dying relative that desperately needs what's in this chest. Oh, I get it. You just have to have what's in this chest, right? Because if a beholder's guarding it, it has to be cool. Keep in mind that the dro who summoned me was mad. But hey, who am I to judge, I suppose? I've been playing tic-tac-toe with a pair of imps for 60 years. <sighs> Oh, in case you didn't hear an answer in that. No, you can't look at what's in the chest. The dro specifically summoned me to guard this chest. Did the dro summon you to guard just the chest, or what's inside the chest? Hmm. Well, he screamed my chest, as I recall. A spear was being thrust through his own chest at the time, though, so he could have been referring to that. I assume he was talking about this chest, though. And that means I can't let you open it. Or do anything to it, even if I'm not guarding what's inside. But that doesn't mean you can't open it, right? Then I could get what's inside without touching anything. Hey, you're probably right. Hmm. Actually, I've been wondering what was inside. Tell you what, I won't turn around and you just go take a look, okay? <laughs> Is that it? Shoot, you'd have thought the whole future of the Drow race depended on it or something the way the mad Drow is screaming. Uh, I suppose I have to resign myself now to guarding a completely empty chest for the next 40 years. Yay. You wouldn't have to do that, would you? Keep guarding an empty chest? What would be the point? Huh. You know, you're absolutely right. Not even that Drow mage would want me to guard an empty chest. It's not even a nice chest. There's no way that the Beholder Council, bloated bladder bags that they are, would hold me responsible for this contract. I... I'm free! Free! Yeah! What do you do now? Hmm. Kill the imps. Yeah, those bastards deserve to die. But first, I'm gonna go eat something. You have no idea how hungry I am. Okay. Thank you for that. Now I guess we just need to deal with these chests. All right. I'll use a little bit of time. Episode may go a few minutes longer, but uh, but let's uh, let's just save here before we uh, deal with this. All right, first up, Elminster. I can. I am Elminster. You know me, friend, as the oldest destiny. wizard to have walked the land. In my heart, I am but an old man, and I require an item to while away time's sand. I give to you this curved sword. I am too old to fight. Give it to another warrior, one whose skin is black and it's night. Swing harder, swing harder. Okay, swing that harder. is very obviously going to be Drizzt. Kelvin. Kelvin Blackstaff? That name sounds familiar. I am Kelvin, a wizard of great power, one of the rulers of the finest city of the north. I need the item that supplies my fondest name and an extra leg as I walk forth. 
I give to you this pendant of silver, for it belongs to another. Place it around the neck of one who is sister, but not mother. Sister, but not mother. Illustria. I am Illustria, a daughter of Mistra, one of seven. Lady of the moon, give me my symbol of the sword bequeathed by my mother from her home in heaven. I give to you this pipe of root and magic. Its power is strong, I will not lie. Bequeath it to a man instead, one older than even I. Probably Kelvin. Hey. I am Pierre Giron, a paladin of Tyr's faith and the open lord of my northern land. If you will, place a symbol of my rule within my hand. I give to you this staff of darkest hue, which has faced many an evil foe. It is not mine, but I tell you now, now it belongs to one I know. Yes, yes, I am Drist, a drow who left my hated home below to become a hero true. I require something with which I have vanquished many, one of two. I give you a helmet here, a symbol, so I am told, of rulership on the surface land in a city far north and cold. Okay, Drizzt, you're getting the sword. Sorry, the scimitar. Now then, that one was an obvious one. Okay, you're going in there, you're slumping out. So we have a pendant, which has a miniature sword. Okay, that one has to be a lustriel. Yes, a lustriel, you get the pendant. Okay, Kelvin. Kelvin Black Staff. Right. You get the st the walking stick. Which means you get the pipe and you get the helmet. That's got to be it. Ooh, you got it all right, you did. You are smart at us, but good. Aw, oh, is the game's over already? Okay, okay, we keeps the deal. You goes and opens the last chest now, and we imps will save you. We gets to laugh at the nasty, nasty, nasty! Oh, goody. Goes and opens it, big people. Ah, uh, you have released me. But what is this? I cannot reach your life force. Poor nasty, nasty, nasty! You can't do nothing, nasty. We protecting the big people. No, no! I am too weak. <laughs> that was fun. You funny big peoples. We go now. Okay. And we have a pair of boots and a cloak. Yes. Well, that appears to be everything there. You know what? Let's go back up here. And, uh, get these items identified, find out just what they are. Because they're probably useful in some way. Sell the gems, and end the episode. Yeah, it's gone on a few minutes long. I am aware, I am aware. But we've explored a lot, and we've gotten the item we need. There's a lot of hostile things in this city. Unfortunately. Come on, come on, get up there. You know, I was expecting a tower, not just, like, this. Hell, not just a tower, I was expecting, like, a dungeon or something. That was, honestly, a lot less entertain- a lot less, uh, exciting than I expected. Funny, sure, but a lot less entertaining. Alright, Priestess, if you don't mind, what are these two things? We have Boots of Etherealness. Why these boots were ever made has long been the subject of speculation among the sages of Candlekeep. Some suggest that a certain noblewoman was gifted them by an ethereal lover so that she could join him for a tryst. Others simply point out that the boots are useful for any mage to become intangible who to attacks while devastating an opponent with offensive magic. Where is immune to normal weapons, spells may still be cast and weapons may still be used. Ooh. And the spirit's shield. This cloak is said to focus the energies of one spirit into a force that protects him or her. Rumors of a vampire enslaved in the magical item are ever-present, but they are impossible to prove without destroying the cloak. Ooh, that's actually a pretty good cloak. You're gonna get that. As opposed to... 
It's plus two with offhand. I mean, you need the protection. It's better. You can hold on to this cloak. As for the boots, an opportunity to go ethereal is actually pretty damn good. And could save your life. So you know what? You take that. You take the cold boots. I think that works. And can we rest? We can. Good. And we're all right. Okay. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here while I run over to here where we're likely going to need to go through. Next episode, we'll speak with the rebels and see if we can handle things in a more peaceful way. I have a feeling we're probably going to have to kill the Mad King. But that'll be in the next episode. So until then, I'm... Ch oh, shit! The rebels respond. But that'll be in the next episode. So until then, I'm Chester44. That is Frederick Leinhardt, Minsk, Sir Animan, Jehera, uh, Imawend, and Airy. This has been a Let's Play of Baldur's Gate 2 Shadows of Amun. And I shall see you all next time.